Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Many of you guys were requesting for me to do a tour of my entire town because I didn't really go into detail of what was what everything looked like. So I thought in today's video I would and I'm joined with Poppy. Say hello Poppy. Hello. And we're both going to be exploring the town together. This is her first time seeing it, so she's really, really excited. And this is our house, Poppy. We are going to be moving soon into this pink house, which is so cute. I'll show you guys outside of it. Let me just show you. So this is one of the pink houses. It's actually nighttime at the moment. And we have our little Barbie car out here. So cute. Oh, and also, by the way, we are in our Christmas outfit. Oh, sorry, Poppy. Didn't know you was there. Look. Look at our Christmas outfit. How cute is this? Let me see yours, Poppy. Oh, so cute. <laughs> and I've also placed a calendar here for December. And the 25th has been circled because that is Christmas Day. And we're both so excited for it. Poppy cannot wait to get more toys. Just like this octopus right here. She cannot wait. But let me just give you guys a little tour of my house. And I'll give you guys a tour of the other houses as well. This right here is our little pink kitchen. Some tacos here, which I will take. Thank you very much. It's very, very cute. I actually decorate. This was at the house that I decorated. So this is all mine. And my friends decorate all the others. I have my pictures on here. Family pictures. A dining table. A cosy little scene area to put the TV on. I think it's just so cute in here. It's kind of like a doll's house. But I think that's so cute. The garden is actually really cute as well. Look. <gasps> They've got fairy lights out here. This is Poppy's like little um, kind of like playhouse in here. Puts her drawings around. She has her little tea party in here, don't you? <laughs> but me and Poppy are so excited to move here. We'll be moving here in a couple of days, just in time for Christmas. But we'll still have our other house. This will kind of be more, we'll be having two houses kind of, but we'll mostly be living in this town. Okay, so there's like three rooms. The first room is the bathroom area, which is very, Nice and clean in here. I absolutely love this bathtub. I don't know why. It's my favourite bathtub out of the whole, like, Bloxburg update. Look how nice it is. It's like the perfect bathtub. Oh, Poppy's in my room. You want to show them my room? This is my bedroom. Look, I even have a little picture of Poppy right there. So cute. I think my bedroom's so cute. And the best part is that you can be nosy at the neighbours. Look, we have a perfect view of the street. I can see everything that is going on. That's the best part about living at this town, actually. And then moving on into Poppy's room. This is where Poppy and Olive can stay if Olive ever wants to have a sleepover. But look, it's so cute in here. So colourful. Has Poppy's toys everywhere. Poppy loves it. I do. But yeah, I think this is so cute, isn't it? Yeah. Which bunk are you going to take? This one. Oh, you're going to sleep at the bottom. That's true. I always get, as you know, I think I was always scared of sleeping at the bottom in case the top always fell down. But don't worry, Poppy, don't be scared, okay? That will not happen to you. I don't mean to frighten you. Oh, look how cute this unicorn is, by the way. Isn't that a cute decal? They're just so cute. Have her drawings up in frames, little photographs just to make it feel more at home. Since we are moving house, and sometimes it takes time to get used to a new house. So I think adding some photo frame just make it become your own. Okay, well, this is our house. I will now show you guys the rest of the houses, which you guys will be living at. I think you guys will like it just as much. It is apparently 1 a.m., but don't worry. This is, we're the only people at this town right now, so me and Poppy are quite safe. We can even leave our door open, actually. Come on. Okay, now, this is the orange house. The door is open as well. Has a little bicycle outside. They're kind of all the same kind of layout, but they are um, slightly different. Like, this has more of a... Kind of like a grey but a slight orange theme to it. But it's really cosy in here. Oh, there's even some bacon and eggs. Yum! Here, Poppy, help yourself to it. Mm. Our neighbours are very, very friendly. They even leave food for us. But yeah, this is kind of the garden in the area as well. All the gardens are actually different. Like, my garden has um, like a little playhouse for Poppy. This garden is kind of like a scene area of plants. This has a shed and some chairs, and the rest kind of have like just different themes. But I think it's so cool, they're all different, so they're all unique, so if you guys choose your houses, you will all have a different house. Okay, then moving upstairs in the orange house, we have a children's room, or just a bunk bed. I think it is a children's room though, because there's toys in here. So you can role play with some of your kids in here. We also have, I think this is the master bedroom. Yes, look at this. <gasps> How pretty, just a nice simple room, perfect 
and then next door to that is also the bathroom this bathroom's actually really nice look it even has like those like ladder things Shh, eva my cat just keeps <gasps> eva please be quiet but this bathroom is very very pretty it's obviously very clean look poppy's even washing her hands in here look has a nice little bath rug perfect bath I probably shouldn't be using this bathroom, I should probably use it at my own house, but this bathroom's just too nice. And then you have a perfect view of the park. I'm sorry, Poppy, I didn't mean to shut that door. Sorry, Poppy. Okay. Okay, and I'm moving on to the next house, which is the purple house, which has a little scooter outside. So cute. Let me just head on in there, even ring the doorbell a bit. Anyone here? I hope not because we should be the only people on this town. It'd be creepy if someone did say hello. <laughs> okay, now this is the kitchen in the front room area of the purple house. Obviously, it's purple themed with a nice like green wall, which I actually really like. It's a nice combination. The colors really complement each other. But this house is so cute. Look, it even has like a little corner sofa and a fireplace. It's just so nice in here. Let me just make myself a cup of tea. It's nice and warm, it's almost Christmas time. But if we look in the garden, the garden's actually really pretty. It's got flowers here, a little seating area where you can gossip with the neighbours. You can also look over at the other neighbours like, hello. Or just be nosy at them to be honest, which we'll probably be doing the most. Mm -hmm. And they also have like a shed, which has, I think it has the old Halloween decorations in here. You know, serving up for next year. So everything's all in here, and like a little torch. Just simple things that you'd have in your shed. Okay, another upstairs area in the purple house. I mean, there's only two rooms. This room being the bathroom, which is a monochrome style. It's really nice in here. I think it's very, I don't know, it just seems very, like, photo shoe-ish. Look, it's like a black bathtub. How cool is that? And then in this room is the bedroom, which is, um, complete opposite. Look how colourful it is for the bathroom. It's yellow and blue. Very cute. Actually, I think yellow is such a happy colour. It's so pretty in here. He even has like a little wardrobe. Very cozy. <gasps> Poppy, you cannot sleep in there. That is not our bed. But you're right, actually. I'm a bit tired too. Let me just make that bed so they never knew. Okay, we are now going over to the blue house. But obviously, <gasps> Poppy, you have to look both ways before you cross the road. And you have to wait for me, okay? How dangerous is that? Don't do that again, okay? Okay. Sorry. Okay, it's fine. Don't worry. Anyway, off to the blue house. <gasps> it's raining. Quickly, get inside. Ooh. Ooh. Don't want to get all wet. Okay, now this is the blue house. This blue house is actually very different to the others because of the kitchen. Look. The kitchen is so cool. It's very modern. And look, it's just awesome. There's a dining table. The stairs. The only thing I haven't really completed is this area right here. This area is pretty empty, but I didn't really know what to put here. So you guys can give me some ideas. This area is just kind of like a small little front room. And also, look, they have a blue strawberry picture. I don't know why I thought that was cool, but I did, so I added it. Oh, and in the garden of this blue house, even though it's raining, but look, they have a jacuzzi. I'm going to be using this all the time. I want to be in this person's house, whoever lives here, all the time, using their jacuzzi. It's okay, because I'm the owner of this town. Surely they can't tell me off for that. Okay, and then moving upstairs of the blue house, we have the bedroom. She's very pretty, very cute. Oh, I even put a little Chipotle sign there. It's because Sammy was going to be living in this house. I put a little Chipotle sign there for her. And next door to this is the bathroom area, which has a shower and a bath, so you can choose. And then next to this is also the study room. Kind of just like their desk, you know, where you can do your work like I do. You know, work from home, do all of your work here. Okay, now off to the last house, which is the yellow house, which also has... Actually, I don't know what... I put some cars here just in case some people need cars. I don't know what car this would belong to. Maybe it would belong to the blue house, but I have a little car here, which I wasted all my money on. I had 1 million to begin with, and now I have 125,000. Okay, and now into the yellow house, which also has a little bike next to this tree. Quickly get in because it's still raining. <gasps> oh, this yellow house is quite different as well, actually. This was designed by one of my friends, Amy. And she did it very, very pretty. It's so cute in here. Look at the kitchen. So cute. I love it. I even love this stool area. I think this is so clever. Oh, and the garden is really nice too. Look. 
we can get under here and let the rain won't even get us. But look, they have like a little campfire. We can make some marshmallows. On the dining table so cute as well. Look, little red roses. <gasps> Matches my hat. Isn't this hat cute, by the way? It's got little, like, um, ears. Too cute. Okay, now if I quickly shut this door so the rain doesn't come in and we head upstairs. Ooh, this hallway's nice. It's nice and, like, white. Very clean. The bathroom's in here. As you can see, I love this bathtub. I've used it many times. Not this exact bathtub, I mean the style of it. Although I have been in this bathtub quite a couple of times. Well, I can comb my hair whilst in the bath. I mean, my Christmas sweater might get wet, but it's okay. Oh, okay, and this is the bedroom. Bedroom's kind of simple. I've got some nice artwork here, which I think Poppy will love, because Poppy, Poppy loves art. Don't you, Poppy? What do you think of this painting, Poppy? One minute. Oh, sorry, we're doing a toilet, Poppy. Oh, I apologize, I'm sorry. Take your time, take your time. I hope you wash your hands, Poppy. I did. Okay, good. Now come look at this painting. Isn't this painting beautiful? Ooh. Who's it by? Beautiful. Yes, yes it is. Yay. And then next door to this bedroom is just the bar. Oh no, it's not a bathroom, of course. It's another bedroom. So this, um, this house has two bedrooms. So that's what it means. Some of you guys can be roommates, or maybe your child could live here. I'm not too sure. It's all about. It all depends on your role play. Oh look, Poppy's looking outside. She is not happy with this weather. Mm -mm. Okay, well that's it for the houses. Now we can move on to the shops and the park and the school. So let's quickly look into the dentist, which Poppy will be going a lot because we want to make sure your teeth are nice and clean. Mm. It's called a Berry Dental. Look, and a little tooth with a smiley face and thumbs up. If we go in here, this is the dentist area. You know, they sell toothbrushes. You have the receptionist here. And they usually come in. It's what I do when I go to my orthodontist. And they're like, name, please. And I'm like, Phoebe. And then I say what time. And my mum's favourite time is 2.30 because it's a punny time. You know, your tooth hurty. My mum's favourite time. And then usually you sit here where Poppy is and you wait for your name to be called. The dentist usually comes out of one of these rooms. And then you go in there. And then they're like, hey, how are you? How's everything? And then you sit down. Oops, and you do not comb your hair. I mean, some people might do that, who knows. And then, yeah, like they do a little x-ray of your teeth. They just check your teeth, you know. Look, Poppy's checking my teeth right now. How do they look, Poppy? Very bad. What? I brush my teeth all the time. But yeah, this is a little dentist. I think this would be so cool to do role plays with. And to take Olive to the dentist, or take Poppy, or even take myself to the dentist. Always make sure you go there. Make your teeth nice and clean. I actually have an appointment on Tuesday, so I could even do a reenactment of what happens. Okay, moving on. Next door to the dentist is the beauty parlor, which you guys have already seen. It's a tad bit different, but it's kind of similar. It still has most of the things I had on my other street. So yeah, this is pretty. I like the um, the ceilings. Well, the ceilings are really pretty. I made it like pink. I think it really adds to it. Okay, and next door to the salon is the only fresh meat barbecue. So if you get a bit peckish or a bit hungry, whilst getting your beauty treatment, you can come in here and have some delicious food. This is really pretty in here, actually. And look, one of my friends got a little piggy bank here. So this is gonna kind of be like the, if you want to give them a tip or something like that, which I think is so cool. But it's so cute and I love the lights in here, the fairy lights are so pretty and there's some more upstairs, so there's always more room you have the little rooms here, you have larger tables, smaller tables and then in here is just a little restroom very simple but of course you always need a restroom in the restaurant and then next door to the restaurant is the laundromat which is super cute, I think I've already kind of showed you what it kind of looks like in here but it's still very retro themed and colourful and just cute, I still have these. Oh, some of you guys are asking how I stack these. I put the washing machine on top of a table. And then once you do that, you're able to stack the washing machine. So if you're wondering how to do that, that is how I did it. And then over here is the nursery slash preschool, which Poppy will be going to. And she's very, very excited about it, actually. Uh -huh. If we head inside, oh, it's so colourful in here. Come inside, Poppy. This is the reception area where I will have to enrol her soon. This is kind of where you can sit down and wait. Um, it's so pretty in here. Look, they even have the achievement board up here. That's how you know this preschool is very, very good when they have all these achievements. 
Also, I'm not gonna lie, I did steal some of these posters from Amber when she made her daycare. But I had so many pictures, look, all these art pictures, that I just had to get more, so I just took them from Amber. Hope she doesn't mind. Oh my gosh, I did not mean to have that on there. Let me quickly change that picture. No, didn't mean to scare you guys. Let me quickly put a shape on there. There we go, much, much better. Okay, perfect. My sister Chelsea would have been very, very scared of that. I don't, I don't even change that. It wasn't even me. Well, this is an art room where Poppy will love because Poppy loves art. So she'll be spending most of her time in here creating fabulous pictures just like these on the wall. I mean, look how cute these are. Poppy could be creating these soon. And you can see that one of their lessons must have been shapes because all of the pictures on here are shapes, which looks like a really, really fun lesson. But this art room is so pretty. You can do your drawings on this table, and then you do your painting up here. And if your painting's really, really good, and you put a lot of effort into it, it will then get hung up on the wall. And outside of the art room is the bathroom for girls and for boys. See the boys' bathroom? They're very similar. Nothing's really different just except for the, the poster at the wall, which tells you if it's boys or girls. But yeah, they're very similar. Oh, and in this room right here is the canteen slash lunch room, which is very nice. I think I'll be in here a lot getting my food. Oh, look, it's a drink. Which one do you want, Poppy? Oh, she wants the green one. Okay, I will have the pink one. Mmm, that is delicious. I don't know how long it's been there for, but it tasted great. But yeah, I'll have to get some lunch ladies in. They'll be making some food for us. Putting it on this little seat here where they'll be eating. And then after they've ate, they can come out into the play area, the playground, which is so cute. Look, I have a chalkboard area where the kids can draw. You can see they've already drawn some already. To be fair, this is my art. Look how beautiful this is. Back to school. Great art. Oh, they also have like a little gardening area. I think they have a lot in preschool and a lot for young kids to kind of teach them about gardening and just things that are really fun. I think gardening is fun, like learning how flowers grow and making carrots and tomatoes and berries. Oh, and this is a little playhouse here which you can go into. And it just has kind of like a little toy set. You can do like some um, role plays in here, like a toy kitchen. You also have your little tea party in here. But yeah, I think Poppy will love being in here. She likes making tea parties anyway. I think you'll get along with all the people that you'll be going to school with in here. But yeah, I think the playground's so cute. And it's right next to the park. That's why I didn't put too much in there because I just put little things in here that you'd have in a playground. And then after school, the kids can always go to the playground and then play there. Okay, now let's head upstairs to where the rooms are. On the left, we have the playroom, which kids will do role play. So if it's raining outside like it was earlier, the kids will come inside and then they can play in here. This is also Amber's decals. Do not tell her, guys. I just had to use them, okay? <laughs> this is a little dressing up area where kids can role play. You can turn into a princess or something, or Santa Claus, because it is coming up to Christmas. And look at this funky banana. Look, he's a crazy guy. He's a crazy guy. Cray cray. Oh, and there's some building blocks here and some cards. Some toys laying around. I also have like a little toy cashier because I think I used to play with that so much when I was younger. I used to love playing like um, the cashier. Oh, one of my things I also loved playing when I was younger was playing as a teacher. And I know that I used to love doing that. I used to have like a little book and I'd put people's names that I actually went to school with. I'd have their name in there. And I'd be like, like, blah, blah, are you here? Poppy, are you here? And they'd be like, yes, miss. That was my favorite like role play to kind of do. Oh, and also I have a little poster here that says always help clean up and put the toys away correctly to teach the kids, you know. You need to put your toys away, okay, Poppy? That is the one thing that you need to learn. Okay. And then opposite the playroom is where the classroom is. Now this classroom can be very diverse. This classroom can kind of be changed into a math room or an English room or whatever room they're kind of teaching the kids at the moment. But for that, because um, the kids that will be coming to the school will be very young. <gasps> Poppy, wow. Oh my gosh, you are talented. Whoa, and you can do that at the same time? Extra talented. But I feel like because of the, um, the kids that would be coming to this preschool are very, very young, they'll be like four years old, just like Poppy. They will usually have like this kind of like mat area, which I just sit out all the time, but the teacher sits here and they might like read you a book or something. And then all the kids kind of like sit in front of you and just sit down and kind of listen to what you're saying. And I think that's the best part. They can even play with toys. And it is called, actually it's not called anything, but I had the carpet procedures here, so it kind of tells you what to do. It says one, sit crisscross, two, eyes on the teacher, three, time to listen, and four, raise your hand. 
but you can usually you can even teach the, um, the class here really just sitting down or playing music like Poppy beautifully did earlier but in this section of the classroom is more of where the class is and you'll sit down you have paperwork it might just be like simple work like making stories as I've put here story formula of how to create stories or you can even do like a drawing exercise like even some English work look this is like Jack and the Beanstalk I think so they can even do some artwork of that. But yeah, I think this classroom's so cute. I think Poppy will love it and so will other people. So I cannot wait to enroll her into this school. Look guys, my fruits are finally here. Look, someone restocked all of them. I think Bella did. So thank you so much, Bella. Because people just kept eating. Oh my gosh. My English, I think I need to go to the preschool instead. People just kept eating all of my fruits. But look, even inside now, look. <gasps> They've restocked it with tacos and turkey. <gasps> Delish! That's so nice of them. I still need to go to the shop there and restock some of these because look. Oh, the crisp is here! Yum! Oh, that's so sweet of them. But yes, this is a corner shop. <gasps> Poppy! Do not climb up there, please. You're being very, very naughty today. Sorry. But you're still so cute, so I'll let you go. It's fine. But yeah, this is the little corner shop where you can buy stuff, buy some books, some soap, pens, anything. This can be like shampoo and conditioners some towels but yeah the fruit section over here is so cute I want to make sure that Poppy has one of her five a day every day before she goes to preschool so you can pick out what fruit you want you can have an apple a grape or a banana <gasps> pet shop. no pet shop yet quickly come on pick your fruit first Bye. oh should I have a banana okay now we can go to the pet shop now this is the pet shop which I had so much fun making it I actually had Amber help me with the pet shop and you guys will see how creative she was earlier because she created the most amazing thing ever if we head inside i kind of based it on a pet shop that i used to go to which is called pets at home but they had the counter in the middle section and you kind of just go around the shop but this is kind of like the toy section we have the toys for all animals here we have the dog bed which poppy will be sleeping in <gasps> just kidding poppy <laughs> and in this area over here we have snakes <gasps> i know eva can you see that it's snakes but they have snakes here which I've made. Look how cool this is. <gasps> we made it out of boxes. So the boxes that, did I place them anywhere? I don't know, but I'll show you guys anyway. The kind of boxes that I use for the building blocks, we used that to create the snake and just added the pattern of it. And then we put a little comb there. And I think right there, that's salt and pepper that we use to kind of make the um, snake. Which I think so clever and so cool. And on this side, we have the spiders, the tarantulas. <gasps> But don't worry, they're not scared. Look how cute they are. Look, they're just friendly guys. Hey guys. Oh, and then over here is Poppy's favourite section. Look at the hamsters. Oh, so cute. Poppy really wants to get one and maybe we'll get some soon. But you know, we still have to, have to move house yet. So maybe not yet, Poppy. Soon. And then on this side, this is where you have all of the things that you can buy for the hamsters. Like this is their little food. This is the hay which you kind of stock on the flooring of their cage. These are their little hamster beds and their water tanks. Oh, and this part's really clever. I made it myself. But it really looks like this little wheel. Look, I made it with like a clock and then just that little object. But doesn't it look like a wheel? It's so cool. Oh, Poppy's looking at the fish. Oh, look! I can see Nemo and Dory. Oh. Poppy wants to get a fish too. Poppy wants to get everything in this store, okay? She just loves animals just like I do. Oh, Poppy, look! Guinea pigs! Oh, they are so cute! I love looking at the guinea pigs when I was at pet shops. They were so adorable. I used to love like, the messy haired ones. The ones that had like these really messy hair. They were my favourite ones to always look at. But yeah, that's it for the pet shop. It's very, very cute in there. We might even be getting a pet from there soon. Yay! Which will be exciting. Yes! I'm excited too! Oh, and then in here is the apartments. Apartments for rent. Let's quickly show them the apartments. So if all the houses are booked and you guys don't have anywhere to live, we have some apartments for you in here is what Richie decorated. Very nice, they're pretty small apartments, but I think they're perfect. They're kind of like apartments I feel like you'd see in New York. It's kind of small apartments, but you know, it gets you by. Oh, Poppy's washing her hands. After being in the pet shop, that's a good idea actually, you know. I should probably wash my hands too. Yeah, there's a bedroom in here. It's very simple, simplistic. <gasps> I like this painting, by the way. It's very cute. And then in here, I think it's the little, yeah, it's like a little washing machine. It's very cool in here, it's just a tiny little apartment, but it's very cozy. I think it's perfect for Christmas. I cannot wait to start decorating this for Christmas. As you can see, 
Poppy and me are already in our, um, our Christmas outfits and we are excited for the Christmas update. We cannot wait anymore, can we, Poppy? Nuh -uh. My cat is also very excited. Okay, now moving on. In here, just kind of the storage room, which I think some apartments have. You know, it has all oh, have some scary spiders in there. So I wouldn't go in there really. <gasps> There's even one on the wall. Okay. But they have a washing machine and iron, just some clothes. Just some normal things I think you'd have in an apartment. And then next door is the second apartment, which is also very cozy. Look how cute it is in here. <gasps> nice. Oh, the bathroom's really nice in here as well. Look. How nice is this? Super cute. One oh, puppy, look. Little puppy. There's a puppy in here. I think it's a Labrador. How cute is that? And in the final apartment, oh my gosh, you can see a bit of the fish tank. Oh no! Okay, don't worry, just, just ignore that, guys. Oh, I decorate this apartment. How cute is it? It's very monochrome. I think, I think that's a style that most people like. Most people like the grey and like the black and white, so monochrome kind of style. But I added a little bit of colour just on the couches. Oh, she's changed it. Unicorn, I knew it. I knew she wanted to put unicorns on. <laughs> don't waste electricity, Poppy, please. I haven't got enough money to pay for bills. But in here is the bedroom. Very simplistic but cute. I like to add a little bit of colour. Just a little a little tad of colour. And then a small little bathroom in here. I think it's a perfect apartment. You don't need a big apartment, especially when you've got a massive town. You don't really need it. Okay, in the last shop is Ambry Coffee, which I've kind of briefly already shown you guys. But this is what it looks like in here. We serve all the coffees. Oh, it's just super cozy in here. I love the fact that I have Ambry coffee in here. Oh, someone's here. Hi. Hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, this is Ambry coffee. In this section right here, I kind of wanted to add some food here. But I think someone's ate all of that as well. They just keep eating all my food. Who is this person? I'm going to set up some security cameras and see who it is and catch this person. But I want to have like sandwiches here or just porridge. I feel like in places that I usually go to, like I go to this um, shop which my mum really likes to called Prep. And usually you can have coffee there, but they also have a selection of some food items. Like they had this really nice thing that Amber likes. It's like salmon, a salmon salad, but it's so nice. So I kind of wanted to kind of represent that on there. Okay, and last but not least is the park, which I probably hope I could have showed it when it wasn't at night time because it looks a lot better at night um at daytime but look how cute this is oh isn't it cute I made this all by myself as well so I was very very pleased with that have a little sand pit where Poppy might play make some sand castles or some toys I have um what do you, what would you call this is this like a I don't know what you call this like a playhouse kind of area but I don't know what it's called but I put this down, I put water at the bottom of it so you can put this down but then I just put a floor on top of it so that you can um, you can place the swings Whoa! Oh my gosh, Poppy help me! Poppy! Mommy? I'm stuck! <laughs> Mommy! Just kidding! I'm fine, I'm fine <laughs> Oh, Poppy come push me on the swings Okay Push me please Ooh. Come on Poppy, push please Are you trying to say I'm too heavy? Okay fine, I'll push you instead Your turn Actually, Poppy, you're really heavy as well. I don't think I can push you either. But yes, these are the swings, and sadly, they do not move. I wish they did. But I think it looks like a swing set. Very, very cool. And over here is like the jungle. I have no idea what you call it jungle either. Jungle theme. lines. That's what I'm looking for. A jungle fence, because this is what it is. It's a fence and ladders. So that's what it is. <laughs> but yeah, you can use this. You can climb. Monkey bars. That's what it's called. Monkey bars. But yeah, they have this a lot in parks. I think this is so cool. So after your day at preschool, you can go to the playground and stuff, play with football. Oh, I just think it's so awesome. Poppy! You okay? Just kidding. Oh, you got me back. Wow, Poppy. Oh, look, she's in her Christmas outfit too. Oh, no. She oh, there she is. I thought she disappeared. But yeah, that's basically it for my entire town. That is the tour of my town. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what else you guys want to see of my town. Any role plays you like to see. I've shown you all the interiors of the houses now. So you guys can choose where you want to live. Whether the yellow house, the blue house, the purple house, or the orange house. Or even the apartments. Or if you guys want to live with me. I mean, there is a spare bunk under um, on top of Poppy. So if you guys want to sleep there, then fine. I'll let you guys move in with me. But that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!